Hey everybody, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today we've got a little, real little treat here. We're going to be unboxing an EVGA XC3 uh, RTX 3070 card. And we're going to be doing a complete review of this card, including the profitability, uh, overclocking, power consumption on Ethereum. And we're also going to be talking about our giveaway for our Antminer Z9 Mini by Bitmain still. And uh, without any further ado, guys, let's run that intro. Follow white rabbit. I'm taking potions, call me Alice. Watch me grow taller. Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket. Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today, as we were just saying, we're going to be taking a look at an RTX 3070 card by NVIDIA. And this is the full hash rate version. Uh, there is something also called LHR, which is light hash rate version. And these are all the newer cards uh, by NVIDIA, are basically all LHRs, except for the RTX 3090, of course. And uh, I try to avoid all LHR cards if possible. Uh, I'd rather buy a used full hash rate card for mining versus an LHR card. And NVIDIA has done this to try and get miners not to purchase their graphics cards for mining. So uh, we're also gonna be uh, talking about our giveaway that's still going on. And just recently in a previous video, we gave away one of these uh, Ant Miner uh, Z9 Mini um, ASIC miners. And we're gonna be giving away our next one coming very, very soon. So in order to enter into this giveaway, firstly, subscribe to the Brandcoin channel. And next also uh, enter in the comments section down below, uh, put hashtag z 9 mini and we'll enter you into the contest to win that uh, along with free shipping to wherever your destination is in the world. So uh, without any further ado, guys, let's go take a look at our card. So as we can see here on the box, this is the EVGA RTX 3070 uh, XC3 Ultra Edition. And uh, there is also an FTW3 Edition, which is the For the Win 3 Edition. And this is supposed to be uh, basically a slightly more basic model than that, but I really love EG EVGA cards, and I can't wait to get this guy out of the box. So here we're just gonna get our trusty knife, and we're gonna break the original seal here on the package perfect and we're gonna go get this guy out of the box oh see here some paperwork fell out of the box here And wow, this card comes completely enclosed in uh, some nice hard plastic. And wow, oh, there we go. And wow, holy moly, what a large and just gorgeous card. Uh, I love this plastic here, how it's wrapped. So now we are back and we've got our EVGA uh, RTX 3070 all set up here. And I love this little RGB lights going here. What a gorgeous design of this card here. Unbelievable looking. So now we're gonna basically start up our miner and we're also gonna start up uh, MSI Afterburner and we're gonna check out the overclocks. So now we're going to be using uh, Nano Miner, and first we're just going to open our MSI Afterburner, and then we're going to open our Nano Miner file, and I'll be putting a link to the uh, latest version of Nano Miner down below for you guys. And we're going to double click on the Nano Miner file, and I've already configured my mining address in here. And here we go, we're going to start up right away. 
And I'm just going to push the uh, fan here going to about 75% uh, percent right away so we don't start overheating the card. Although, I mean, right out of the box, this thing is almost doing 50 and a half, uh, about 50 mega hash. And still, actually, that's that's a little bit warm for for uh, a car, one of these uh, new RTX cards. 53 degrees, uh, not hot by any means, but still the memory temperature must be getting pretty toasty. So now uh, we've got some overclocks already set up here. We're just gonna click on our number one setting. And basically this is gonna pull the power uh, limit down to 55%. Uh, temperature, temperature limit is gonna be 70 degrees. Uh, core clock is going down uh, 200. And the memory clock we're pushing up 1300 plus 1300 and here it's going to also set our fans at 85 percent and that's that's sort of a minimum i find for uh, this card here about 75 to 85 percent and if you're in a hotter environment i would push those fans to 100 so we've just applied the uh, overclocks and we can see already our mega hash going up 51 52 53 54 uh, and uh, oh, here we go. We found a share already. Uh, 55. It, this card is just ramping up here a bit. And we'll just wait a few more seconds and we'll see where it settles. So we are back and now we have let the miner run for actually one day here. And uh, we see it's bouncing around from about 60, 59 mega hash. Uh, right now doing 60.283. Uh, but it basically bounces around. The lowest I've seen is about 59, and the highest I've seen is about 61. Uh, again, doing 60.46 mega hash right now. And the overclocks I just showed you guys, I actually got from miningchamber.com, and I'll be putting a link uh, uh, in the description down below to his website and uh, YouTube channel because he's just an awesome YouTuber uh, and miner and just very, very knowledgeable. So uh, I found that if I increase the memory clock higher than 1,300, I start getting all kinds of invalid shares. So here we can see a total of 506 accepted shares and zero rejected. So we don't wanna boost the memory up so high that we're rejecting shares. Oh, there's another share found right now, uh, perfect. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the power efficiency of this card. So I've just got the whole system plugged in here and we're doing about 172 to 173 watts. Uh, there we go, 173. So we'll take a value of 173 watts and our system itself we've calculated is pulling uh, 27 watts approximately. So that means our graphics card is mining away at 146 watts. And oh wow, it's looking pretty good there with those fans spinning. So now we're going to discuss the current profitability uh, for this um, card mining Ethereum. And as we can see here, today is uh, January 8th. And basically, uh, this is the uh, three month price chart for Ethereum. So starting off about $3,400. And today is a, a serious, uh, we've taken serious dip recently uh, down to $3,083. So as we can see here, Ethereum is at a quite a low right now. So if you can afford to hold on and not sell your Ethereum right away, you could be making double or triple or maybe even quadruple if you could just hang on to this Ethereum. So it may not be a good idea to sell Ethereum right now but let's take a look at today's profitability in case you were selling Ethereum anyway right now. So uh, now I've browsed over to CryptoCompare.com and I've entered a hash rate for a card of 60 mega hash approximately at about 146 watts power consumption with a 10 cent electric fee and a 1% pool fee. And basically even with all these fees and the, and the very, very low Ethereum price, it's still doing about $2.38 after paying your electric every single day or $16 US a week or about $71 US a month. So now we're gonna calculate our mining profitability if you live in Canada for all our Canadian viewers of our uh, mining community here. So in order to do that, we're just gonna remove uh, the power consumption here and the price of electric 
and this will give us a gross amount of uh, profit and this is before paying any electrical costs you can see electrical went to zero here so this is two dollars 73 cents us a day or 81.95 a month so we're going to take our 81 and dot 95 and we're going to convert it uh, into us dollars approximately and this exchange rate is always going up and down i'm just taking a 25 a 1.25 exchange rate so this is this one graphics card is doing about hundred and two dollars and forty three cents a month and now we have to go and calculate our electric rate so we've gone over to rapidtables.com and we've entered in uh, that we're pulling 146 watts 24 hours a day and uh, basically we put in a 10 cent electric cost and this comes out to about ten dollars and fifty one cents a month uh, in standard electric rate so now we're going to go over back to our calculator and we're going to take our 102 dollars a month here and we're going to subtract our ten dollars and 51 cents so after paying your electric bill you are making almost 92 dollars 91 dollars and 92 cents a month now we're going to take a look at some different options to actually purchase a non lhr uh, 3070 right now so uh, basically we're browse over to ebay and we do not want the rtx 3070 ti because that is the uh, lhr version but we need to find an right down here is one an rtx 3070 founders edition now uh, they never made a ti non-lhr so it's only the 3070 founders edition that will be your non-lhr and here's one right now it's uh, $1,348 buy it now with a $38 uh, shipping fee. And these prices are in US dollars. And here's another one, 1,350. So that seems to be about the price you can pick them up for. Or another option is we can go over to this site called StockX. And this is actually in Canadian dollars. So it's about the same as eBay. Uh, only it might be a little bit safer than buying off of eBay because uh, StockX has some sort of verification program to try and make sure you're not going to get scammed. And I mean, you could always go and do like a refund uh, if you pay through your credit card through eBay if you try and get scammed. But I mean, you might deal with a little bit of a hassle here. So if you haven't already smashed that like button, please do so right away. It really helps us out uh, getting more views for our videos. And thanks so much for everyone for watching Brandcoin today. And we'll see you all soon in the next episode.